Hello guys, welcome to a video. This is the south of England. <laughs> yeah, it's been like this for the last two days actually. Um, really, really horrible out. And um, yeah, that's what it's like, so we're all indoors. I hope everyone's well. I'm just gonna put the camera down there like that. <clears throat> I just wanted to talk about um, a few new, not new, but um, the packages that arrived. Um, first off, from Cup of Joe's, uh, one of my favorite places to buy tobacco, Cup of Joe's. It's got such a wide selection of tobacco. And um, the uh, customer services person, Maria, Really quick at answering emails and um, got a message about uh, um, the arrival of Esoterica by Germains <coughs> or Germans, however you want to say it. JF Germans, I think it is, but everyone says Germains. Um, isn't it funny that these tobaccos, uh, they go from the British Isles over to the US and get distributed by Arango? And um, I buy them and they come back over. I've picked up uh, a tin of Dunbar, which I'm very much looking forward to. Seven premium Virginia tobaccos with Lu Louisiana Perique, which is right up my street. I'm going to uh, enjoy that. I've been trying to get some of this for a little while. And it's um, I think a lot of, once a year maybe this comes out. And I was lucky enough to get a tin and so to bed. Very smooth smoking um, mixture. This is really, really nice. I've had it before. I wanted to pick up a bag as well because uh, I think it's got to be in my top five esoterica. Maybe top three. like it so much, I indeed did get a bag of and so to bed. I always wrap my bags up in this um, Ziploc because I think occasionally these bags do split along the seams and you get a little perforation so if you're going to age it like I like to um, you know a couple, couple of years for Virginia's sometimes more for other tobaccos but um, it just keeps it sealed properly and it doesn't dry out and it ages it nicely so very very pleased to get that that was cup of joe's um then no no it's more cup cup of joe's i forgot um tin of penzance i've got some penzance that i've aged for about probably three years so i'm going to put that in my cellar and i'm going to bring my old tin out to um to smoke um, I know the hype involved around this tobacco. I actually prefer uh, Germain's Special Latakia Flake uh, over Penzance, but it's a lovely tobacco. It's still a, a very, very nice smoke. Um, a couple of years on it, really. Um, I was lucky enough to pick up another tin of Balkan Sobrani. Maybe not as good as the original, but I never got to try the original, so I, I wouldn't know that. I think it's a fantastic mixture. Lovely tobacco. Uh, nice bit of Latakia, but it, you know, it plays second to the other tobaccos that are involved. And it just, it's a nice Balkan mixture, really. Um, so things that come close to it, maybe Balkan Blue, um, possibly. If you can't get Sobrani, which is so hard to get, isn't it? Um, I probably get it twice a year on each. Well, I find Esoterica ships twice a year. It used to ship three times a year, but it's twice now. And this shipment was really late. Um, and being in the UK, we get all the Germains, uh, tobacco, rich dark flake, brown flake, medium, special Latakia, plum cake. Um, so we're not overly bothered about missing out but that's one thing that has just surprised me never 
is released in the UK because um, just run out of battery. It was only ten years ago you could you could buy this in pouches in the UK and then it disappeared. It's kind of annoying. Um, Gareth's do quite a nice Balkan though, um, but you, I mean, you can't beat that Balkan Sobrani. It's perfectly mixed. It's such a classic tobacco. And then the big one from Smoking Pipes. Pipes and Cigars. Can't remember. I picked up a bag of uh, Penzance, which um, again I've put in this cellophane wrap. <clears throat> I'm going to bring out my other um, bag of Penzance and um, dish that out to a few friends and I'm going to put this one in the cellar. So yeah, very pleased to get another bag of Penzance. Um, I was lucky this time around. Sometimes you are, sometimes you aren't. Um, but you know, some people hunt for it and pay silly money on eBay. I really don't think that's the way to go. I think um, it's only going to make these tobaccos even more expensive, really, on the secondary market. I usually report people who put a bag of this for two hundred dollars on eBay. I think it's outrageous. Yeah, it's, it's not fair, really. So that's it, really. Um, I'm doing well. Uh, just this weather, really. The summer is definitely over. What a shame. I got um. I'm quite boring now when it comes to dipping tobacco. I got another order through of um. Stoker's mint, which is my staple mint. Um, I quite like the winter green, but I'm I'm really into this. And uh, coming into winter. Shouldn't be saying that, we're just in kind of September. But you know, things are getting colder in this weather. Oh, I just have to show you this again, it's absolutely dreadful. <clears throat> this is no end to it whatsoever. No end to it at all. Very, very annoyed to be honest, because I wanted to go out. Not good now. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, um, yeah. In the winters, I tend to s smoke things like uh, kind of Balkan, uh, like Latakia in the winter, and I dip mint. Um, in the summer, it's kind of I do delve into fruit dips and uh, tobaccos, but. Um, yeah, not really even aromatics now in the summer. It just, I didn't feel like it. Made my own mixture. Um, I sat on a cigar the other day and it was a Romeo and Julieta. So I thought, let's kind of do something with it. Uh, it was completely ruined. So I cut it up and put it into a Virginia's um, cigar leaf, uh, Latakia, no, not Latakia, and a tiny bit of Perique. So we'll see how that tastes. I might do a little review on my own cigar type of blend. Anyway, there we go. That's what I've been doing. That's what I've been buying. I've got a few more little bits coming in the next week or so. But, um, yeah, enjoy your um, tobaccos and, uh, and things. And don't chase Esoterica. Just find it at retail and buy it for retail price. That's my advice anyway. <laughs> do, do what you want. It's up to you. But uh, it seems like a terrible waste of money to spend so much money on on tobacco that really uh, doesn't deserve it, I think. I think if tins are aged you know, 40 years or something, then you can put the price up slightly. But brand new tobacco shouldn't be overly expensive. Anyway, I'm going on now, so um, <laughs> nice to see you all. Cheers, take care.